And just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward, always getting closer, I'm marching till it's over. Up guys, welcome back to our XCOM 2 War of the Chosen playthrough, episode 75. Planet Blind, Iron Man, and Commander Difficulty. And with the extra added twist of all my squaddies being friends of mine. Nah, shut up council man, I'm talking. Last episode was a doozy. I usually gun for 30 minute episodes, but I'm not going to split the last episode. Hopefully you see that mission as one that's not to be missed, because trust me, that episode is one not to be missed. To be quite honest, I'm still sort of getting over it a wee bit. So we'll, we'll check. It's going to be a sorry state. We've got shaken. We've got a whole bunch of tireds. <laughs> we got a few wounded. Mainly tireds, though. Poor Bones was shaken. And if you caught last episode, you understand why. Where's Tammy? I'm sure she's shaken. Nah, she's wounded. <laughs> Where's Hayden? Wounded. I'm sure they'll still be tired when they come out of come out of the infirmary. Which I'll check. Yep, Timmy developed a fear of poison, I think it was. Won't even let me click it. Yep. Yeah, I know. What? Okay, it buffered them all up. Fair enough. Alright. So, Codex Brain Coordinates Mission and the Avatar Autopsy Shadow Project. So I think we ditch these spare parts. They can bugger off. Oh, what? Oh, so I have to do that codex place. All right. If you insist. If you absolutely insist. Man, I'm glad I upgraded those guns, though. And stuck an engineer there. Phew. Glad of a lot of things from last episode, actually. Right. Uh, what's in our training center actually? We probably have some XCOM AP we can spend. Oh, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> I can make Chris a phantom. Oh, that would actually be pretty good. that cereal because Chris is a beast he has like a hundred and four aim or something yeah will invest heavily in you Chris even though you're tired for 10 days So I kind of can't do much until my people recover. They want me to do this codex brain thing. Oh, are you going to blip up, are you? Oh no, because I killed the avatar. Of the avatar project. 
That sure peeves them off. Eight days for Intel, why not? It's probably a better rate of return than the Reaper HQ. Don't give me a mission. Are you just gonna blip up, are you? Oh, <laughs> sabotage, they're down to two. Your avatar project is in shambles, fellas. And I've got one of your corpses in my laboratory as we speak. actually pretty cool. There's a chance that an advent unit will join the XCOM squad. That's actually real cool. Either that... Yeah, I think I do that actually. And Gaza. Oh, mobility plus one. Who wants mobility? Oh, and Tomo's got a level. I think Dan wants mobility. It's only seven days. And we go to Tomo's level. Steady hands or aim. Don't like that. Hunkerings for the wussies. Alright, we get a couple back in a couple of days. And then we're off to this codex site. Timmy's back. Oh, what are you gonna do? Intel. Scientists. I don't think I even need to do these. Nah, bugger off. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, they do. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Oh. We will. Yeah, bugger off. Yeah. I'm sure the council is going to be displeased. Oh no, the Chosen are much more likely to appear in combat. Pity they're all dead. Excellent. Now who did we get back? Are we fighting for it? And three days we're fighting fit. I think we give Bones a rest. Wouldn't mind having Chris available though. So what do we got sitting around the map? Oh, why not? It's exactly enough to get Chris back. Double agent, excellent. And Dan gets another mobility. What's this one do? Out of war. Nope. Oh, 
we can get a bond and a promotion. How long does it take though? Four days. You're bonded with Josh. Increased by 13 supplies. Yeah, let's go for alien loot. Chris is, well, as soon as this supply drop is picked up. Oh, yay. I'm so happy. Oh, modular vectors. I don't think you can even upgrade them. So that's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, you'd better be overjoyed. Daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right. Oh, whatever. We will have to do better. We've got an avatar sitting in the lab. Oh, we we'll skip that. Oh, yeah. Oh, a retaliation strike in a week. It's gonna be annoying. Uh, so what is it? It's a red one. Oh, yeah, we'll get rid of that one. <laughs> that one's gonna be funny. <laughs> what? They gave me the supply drop in the exact same place. Neutralize target. I think you have to do these or lose the region. I'll, I'll check on Chris first though. Oh, he's still tired for a day. So I'm gonna go do this Codex mission. Not, not this mission. Yeah, I can afford that. What do we got? Not much. Oh, by the time we... Um... Yeah, we might as well just burn a day. Yes, I know. How tragic. No. It's only one day. One day. I think I'm running a th thin line with the council, though. Chris is back, right? No bones. I think we'll have to make do without bones. Give him a proper rest. We're off to this Codex place. We're in the end game, boys. Hopefully, the council doesn't fire us for losing that place. Right, this is not a squad. Well, 
Well, I quite like Dragon Ob. We want Tammy, definitely. Do we want Gareth, or is one heavy enough? Yeah, just take it off. Take off all of it. Judge. Uh, I think we trade Gareth for someone. Give him a vest, he is a bit lower level. So we got blue screening. Dan and Chris. We got a medic. Tammy with a hazmat. Which conveniently negates her fear of poison. Wouldn't mind a backup medic though. It's only a difficult. It's gonna be a walk in the park, boys. I didn't even need a squad for this. Didn't even need a squad. Right, we keep Hayden safe. Probably should have made this one a logistics mission, guys, but I think we're getting into end game. Don't want to be splitting up too many of these. I mean, it is practically the climax after all. So, if you're enjoying it, make sure to leave those likes and those comments and subscribe to keep up with it. We're only doing this so we can autopsy the avatar. We've already got one. I'm sure you're not supposed to be skulljacking a codex on a ground assault. The same way you're not supposed to be skulljacking on an assassin stronghold. <laughs> it's just the way I roll. Coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. We're in concealment. Excellent. Do we get a double agent? Like, how does that show up? Alright, where are we oriented? Middle-ish. More left than right, so it looks like we go this way. It does. It does indeed. Chris on point, just where he likes. Although he doesn't have his point, point buddy. Well, we should probably be going down this drain pipe, boys. So we don't have to make a noise opening those gates. What? 
It must be cover there. Yeah, it's there. Oh, that's right, we got Dragon Nova. So we got proper recon. Thought we just had sung one. I am trusting you. You will never hide from me. There's an alien patrol nearby. Oh, is she in radius? Almost. Good thing she's got the good camo. Dan could probably get shots off on them. <laughs> he could too. Roger that. Alright, who wants their head blown off? Purifier. I think a shield bearer wants their head blown off. Do your stuff, Dan. <laughs> She'll be there. <laughs> oh, Hayden's getting stuck in with his adjustable stock. Oh, and death from above is making it too easy. Don't like priests. Nah, Timmy, 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 Timmy. And sung one from the shadows. Did an advent follow join us? Who's that at the back? It is two! We got a double agent! One, two, three, four, five, six, and Dragonova. I got seven people! <laughs> Sweet. Oh, you can't shoot very far though. You can't see anybody. <laughs> cool, I got an Advent Trooper. That's sweet. Sucks to be you. Although that looks like stasis. Stupid priest. No, you're gonna reveal it! Phew! I think she didn't reveal. Oh wow, the trooper hit. Nice. Is he going to try and burn Chris? Oh, we've got chrysalid burrowing. Two chrysalids burrowing. That's a lot of chrysalids burrowing. Oh, what the fang? Oh my god, that's six of them. Goody, goody, goody. Um, oh, well, at least I can use the Advent Trooper as bait. Eighty-two percent. Not to kill though. Come to think of it, Dan could probably kill that. <laughs> Does he have that pistol? Yeah, he can fire with his pistol first. There we go. That's how you get death from above. Yeah. 
You don't have to use the gate anymore, Chris. Do I overwatch? Nah, I don't need to. Tammy can take care of him. Oh, someone still concealed. Good. And Chris doesn't need to use the gate anymore. Man, I'm so going to use this Advent Trooper as Chris bait. You guys know it. Doesn't reveal her looting, does it? What do I need chosen information for? Nothing. Oh, codexes and berserkers. What are you gonna do, priesty? You're gonna die. A horrible, horrible death. At the hands of Hayden. You guys can activate. That's a lot of chrysalids up there, fellas. Get in there, Advent. Oh, he didn't activate. So how far away are they? Quite a wee way. Uh, I think we actually used the cover with Chris. Who's left, Dan? Mm, still got Sung One. I'm all over it. Just keep tabs on these fellas, I think. gonna see their advent. <laughs> oh, Dan's gonna take an overwatch. What the? It's not even activated. <laughs> Just shot the berserker. Oh no, it's gonna reveal her. Maybe. Oh, that's a dead codex. That's a very dead codex. What just happened? Why'd that codex not get in action? What? I'm confused. Run up and shoot the Madvin. <laughs> oh, she's just gonna split in two, so shoot the Berserker. Oh, he hit. He is activated, right? What is with these fellas? Where's the codex? Although Dan should be able to one-shot the codex actually. 
Yeah. Die. No splitting in two for you. Wow, 19 damage. That is impressive. Hundred percent. Crazy. All right, we're about to come into Chrysalid Land, though. Wonder if concealed works on them. Oh, I forgot to give him a Rashi and the katana. Oh, what a moron! Absolute moron. That is not cool at all, guys. I wonder if Chrysalids can see through her stealth. I don't really trust him. So where's Mr. Advent? Go check for Chrysalids. <laughs> we'll keep you safe, we promise. <laughs> Don't kill him. I need him to stay alive. Excellent. There's one chrysalid out of the woodwork. Could have killed him. Oh, I should have shot with her first. Oh, she made her zero percent. Good stuff. Does this thing just get constant free reloads? Yeah, it does. Crazy. Here I come. No, I think we do that from further up. So I think we can go that far without triggering a chrysalid. Just in case an invisible sun one can keep her safe. <laughs> this, this might be questionable, guys, but I'm, I'm gonna heal the advent. He's gonna be a handy little, a handy little chrysalid bait. <laughs> No chrysalids popping out. So I think we send him up further. Fish out some more chrysalids, buddy. Oh, just the one. Oh no, you got stabbed again. <laughs> Sucks to be you. I'm sure this is against the Geneva Convention or something. <laughs> Go heal him, Aiden. We still need chrysalid bait. <laughs> Is 
See you fine, Edwin. <laughs> you just keep running point. I am trusting you. We are known to them. Ah, oh, crap. I thought they could smell through her stealthy. What? They still go for the trooper. Alright, if you insist. Good thing I healed him. Nah, I should probably move him up first. Seeing as this is a magical sniper rifle you can move and shoot with. Oh, I think I'm gonna lose my my advent bait. Oh, it's just you three. I'm gonna have to shoot with Tammy. That's all right. See, I saved your life, Mr. Advent. Someone's still concealed, but I don't think it matters much. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to give him a Rashi in the katana though. Now you're not even concealed anymore. I'm on the move. Oh no. Sucks to be you, Mr. Advent. Come join the resistance, they said. <laughs> You'll be fine, they said. <laughs> Go sniff out more chrysalids. Oh, I should have healed him first. Oh. I'm not sure what we were expecting. He's done the job. Oh, it's a squidly. Oh no, not my bait. Oh, he's finally dead. Finally. He fought bravely. Start shredding off some of that uh, armor. Oh, and they made a cocoon out of him. That's not cool. I don't think I have enough explosives for this. Well, I probably need to get into some cover. You got blue screens, don't you, Dan? Yes, you do. 85%. Oh, we can go for a 64. I think we just go for the 85. Nice damage. Oh, hair trigger. Hell's yeah. Do love me some hair trigger. And Timmy can kill it. Good night, Mr. Gatekeeper. Oh, what a blow up. I don't get the corpse now, I don't think. Rude. That is very rude. 
Do we even bother shooting this cocoon? I don't think we do. Well, My is almost gone. you'll be all right. Sure thing. Well, don't tell me this cocoon's the last hostile agent. Surely there's more chrysalids hiding. soon find out. Judge Dan. What? It's still alive. Not much longer. So what do I gotta do? I gotta get there. There must be more chrysalids still. Chris is staunch enough to break them out. Come at me, bros. No? Overwatch support because we don't have our advent bait anymore. And now we go chrysalid fishing. Let's do this. Nope. Okay. Maybe that's everybody. Chrysalids. There we go. Go on, Chris, gun some down. Oh, Dan will do it. I'm not concerned. Watches? I don't think so. No oh yeah, still dragging over. She should hit that. Ah, oh, I jinxed it. Sorry, guys. That happen. <laughs> he dodged it. Still not good enough though. Oh, that was an 87 lady. I take responsibility. Yeah, damn right you do. I have almost no ammo. Oh, you guys are in trouble. Are Dan's got a height advantage. 
think we death from above that fella. Oh, that crit would have killed him. Booger. That's a shame. No, oh, he gets a hair trigger anyway. Just pistol him. Actually, reload first. Now we pistol him. <laughs> Judge Dan. Do you get free reloads? Nope, you don't. Wonder if there's another pack of them. <laughs> and someone's still stealth. Good copy, moving on target. Rise and shine. Oh, you missed, Chris. They might come and boink you. Enemy is still up. Do you have free reload? No, you don't. Not a problem. Let's do this. Hmm. I will go. Oh no, she's gonna get attacked. What's going on? Oh, it set itself on fire is what's going on. You dumb chrysalid. Just be like Dan and use your sidearm. Let's move already. See it's doable. It finally revealed someone. Overwatch, and I think we just Overwatch. She needs a heal, pronto. Come on, sweetie, get it down before it gets to Dragonova. Good stuff, Sangwon. Oh, that's everything. Excellent. Only a good rating. Oh, someone made Colonel. He joined the fight just like that Ed Ben Pala did. <laughs> he was so useful as Chrysalid Bait. Remember to like if you like in the vids, guys comment anything and everything and subscribe if you're enjoying the playthrough I think we've got a bit of life left if the council doesn't sack us because we'll just do post wrap up and we'll just make this a long episode as well because someone's a colonel finally well I can't believe I didn't give him a Rashi in the katana Bit of a shame. Reaper or rapid fire? Reaper's too much fun. Probably should have given him rapid fire. 
gravely wounded. The distinctive alien artifact Psionic gate. Interesting. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of reduced evidence. I've basically screwed this avatar project. So I gotta upgrade the shadow chamber and complete the gate. In order to analyze the alien Hey, what's these guys doing? Oh, Tammy and Garrett. Modifications to the shadow chamber first. Alright, gonna cut it there guys, that's a long episode, but that's a storyline episode. So remember the likes, comments and subscriptions. Keep up with the playthrough. I think we've still got some left and it's completely blind. Completely Iron Man and completely Commander. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the flip side.